Okay, so let us have an example on evaluating a definite integral using uh, Riemann sum. For this one, we are going to solve for the problem in the book. This is actually an example from the book. So we are going to evaluate the integral of x squared dx from 1 to 2 by means of uh, Riemann sum. All right, so our lower boundary for this one is 1. Okay. By the way, our function is y equals x squared, right? y equals x squared because of this one. This is our function. So y equals x squared is actually a parabola. It's a parabola that opens upward. The, the, the vertex is at 0, 0, right? So our lower limit is 1. So we can construct a vertical line with a 1, and our upper limit is 2. Okay. So if we are going to interpret the integral, we are actually uh, solving for the area of this region. Okay. Itong region na to, we are actually solving for the area of this region. Now, how are we going to solve this one using the Riemann sum? All right, so first, uh, we are going to construct rectangles. Uh, alam na natin yung formula ano, ng uh, delta x. So, so if there are n rectangles between 1 and 2, so delta x is equal to b, b minus a, so that is 2 minus 1 b minus a divided by n, so the number of rectangles. So basically, this is 1 over n. Right. So, di ba, uh, di ba sabi natin, nagkaroon tayo ng arbitrary rectangle. In the previous video, doon sa discussion ng Riemann sum, meron tayong uh, representative rectangle dito. Right. The x coordinate is z sub i and and then yung kanyang y coordinate so another concern dito is the position of z sub i right ito z sub i so ano nga yung ito position ng z sub i from the y axis Itong position na to. What is the position of z sub i in terms of delta x and the lower limit? Okay, so the position of z sub i is actually equal to the uh, lower limit. The lower limit. So z sub i, the general muna, no? So z sub i is equal to the lower limit. The lower limit is a plus um kung pang ilang rectangle yan, so i times the width of the rectangle, so delta x. So that is the general formula of uh, the position of z sub i with respect to uh, the y-axis. So if we substitute based from the given, our lower limit is 1 okay, plus our i. And delta x, we have solved delta x doon sa taas. That is 1 over n. Right. So, ang formula natin for z sub i is 1 plus i over n. Okay. So, let us go back to the definition of uh, of a definite integral. You know, the, the, the definite integral, the integral of f of x dx from a to b is equal to, right, uh, ko ita, no? the definite integral 
of f of x dx from a to b is equal actually to the limit of yeah, summation ito, the, sum, the sum of all the areas of the individual rectangle. So, ito ay delta x f of z sub i where your i from 1 to n as your n approaches infinity. Okay, di ba? Yan yung definition natin ng definite integral. Okay, so if we try to substitute yung mga given natin dito. Right, so the integral of x squared dx from 1 to 2, ito yung sinosolve natin, ano? So is equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of ito. Uh, maglagay na tayo dito ng mga given natin. So, summation of okay, from 1 to n, ito. Delta x, ang delta x natin is uh, 1 over n. Okay, yeah, yeah. 1 over n. And yung f of z sub i natin is actually the f of uh, uh, f of 1 plus i raised to n. So, alam natin, f of x is x squared. So, basically, kawag pinalitan natin ito, this is 1 plus uh, i over n squared. Right? Diba? x squared kasi yung ating uh, f of x. So, yung f of z natin is 1 plus i over n. Tapos, kailangan may square. Alright? So, ito na yung, ito na yung si-simplify natin. How do we simplify this one? Okay? So, we can actually uh, write this as the limit as n approaches infinity of the summation uh, your i from 1 to n. Ito pwede na natin i-distribute, ano? So, 1 plus i squared over n, tapos multiplied by 1 over n. So, natin, this is 1 over n plus 2i. Distribute lang ito. Simple multiplication lang ito, ano? So, i-square natin ito, and then whatever the result, square natin ito, whatever the result, we multiply natin kay 1 over n. We'll come up with 1 over n plus 2i over n squared plus Okay, i squared over n cube. i squared over n cube. Okay. So, medyo komplikado na ito. Ano? So, let us go and simplify further. Diba? Itong ang natin, we can actually uh, itong summation of the individual uh, terms, pwede natin i-distribute itong summation na ito. So, right? Okay, lagyan natin dyan. So, we can actually write this as the limit as n approaches infinity of okay, lagyan na natin ng ganito. The summation of 1 over n your i is from 1 to n plus the summation of 2i over n squared, your i from 1 to n, and then plus, and the summation of i squared over n cube, your i is from 1 to n. Okay. Yan, so gagamitan na natin ng mga uh, summation formulas natin the uh, discussing 11.2 alright so, itong first term natin ano, wala namang i ito ano? so 1 over n we can actually bring out 1 over n and the summation from i equals 1 to n is actually n so we can write this as 1 over n times n a plus the second term Pwede natin ilabas yung 2 over n squared. Uh, so, ang natira, summation of i, i is equal to 1 to n. And the answer, based sa uh, formulas natin doon sa libro is n times n plus 1 over 2. Okay, this is, uh, yung formula nito is, can be found in 
page 294, you know, okay. 11.1. Okay. And then the last one is, natin yung nabas yung 1 over n cube. Okay, ang natira is the summation of i squared. And the summation of i squared, i from 1 to n is n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1. And then over 6. Alright, so yan. Just simplify na natin. Let's try to simplify this one. Okay, so yan. 1 over n times n is 1 plus. And so, pag dinistribute natin to, this is n squared plus n. Ang makakansal yung 2 and 2. So, ang matitira, uh, makakansal din yung isang n dito. Okay? And then, yan natin ito. Cancel yung 2. Cancel yung isang n. Matitira isang n sa baba. Alright? So, ang matitira, n plus 1 over n. Okay? Or, alright, n. Uh, uh, dito naman sa last term, pwede nating ilabas yung 1 over 6. Okay, at 1 and 6, pwede nating ilabas yun. So, 1 over 6 multiplied by, uh, we can cancel itong n and then magiging 2 na lang ito. Eh? So, okay, we can write. Yes, pwede na natin i-distribute itong natira. So, n times 2n is 2n squared. Okay. n times 1 is n. 2n times 1 is 2n. So, we add 2n plus n is 3n. And then, 1 times 1 is 1. So, this is plus 1. Alright, and then all over n squared. Uh, kinukuhanan natin ano, ng limit as n approaches infinity. Right. So, ba para makakomputa ng limit as n approaches infinity, kailangan natin isa-isahin lahat ng mga yan. Ano, I-distribute natin per term. Okay. So, equal the limit as n approaches infinity is of uh, 1 plus ito. Pwede natin pag n over n is 1 plus 1 over n plus, ito isa isa hindi natin, 2n squared over n multiplied by 1 over 6 is 2 over 6 or 1 over 3, right? Pangalawa, 3 over 6 is 1 half, okay? and n magiging 1 over 2n. The last one is 1 over 6n to simplify this one, o pwede na tayong mag-distribute na, or I mean, mag-substitute ng n equals infinity. Alright, so lahat ng mga may n sa denominator is equal to 0 because 1 over infinity is equal to 0. Alright, so ang natira is 1 plus 1. Ito magiging 0 na plus 1 third. Ito, 0, and this one is 0. So, our answer, therefore, 1 plus 1 plus 1 third is 7, 7 over 2. And that is the area under the curve. So, 7 over 3 ngayon, and balik tayo dito sa ating illustration. This is actually the area under the curve of x squared, y equals x squared, from x equals 1 to x equal to okay so itong area na to. okay so that's how we can use the Riemann sum to solve for the definite integral okay this is the procedure using the limit of the summation okay this is a very tedious process okay mahirap na proseso 
parang sa ano ninyo, doon sa derivative ninyo noon, di ba? Before kayo nag-derivative, meron kayong uh, yung preset rule. Ayan, meron sa f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x as x approach to 0 or as delta x approach to 0. Pero later on, hindi naman niya yun. Uh, ganito din ito, no? So, ito lang sa simula. But later on, meron na tayong mga uh, gagawin na hindi na natin gagamitin ng Riemann sum. Okay? 